Hi, and welcome to Coach's Corner. We have some questions from Instagram here that we'd like to go over. You ready to talk about these a little bit? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, we got one from Johnny Two Putts. Best exercises to increase strength and mobility in my shoulders? I think that's a great question. And I think one of the big restrictions that we need to pay attention to in golf is mobility. So as the club actually moves through the giant range of motion, you got to kind of remember that if you assess properly, and that's really where you start with assessments, um, just because you need to know, you know, really where are your restrictions. So as a club, you know, starts from that mm -hmm. address position and it, yep. and it begins to externally rotate and then it actually lifts and then you see this, this parallel position where the club reaches parallel if, if you could get there. Those are, those are so many different moving parts, so I think, Absolutely. You know, it's different for everybody. Sure. Looking at the glenohumeral joint, you know, and how the scapula works and how we need to have this whole mobility in the golf swing to be able to get into that position and have that scapula move across the, uh, the rib cage. Um, you know, the exercises I love are either, you can either do them on a ball, and we've had these in our programs before, or you can use a bench. And it's just a, um, a simple exercise, but one thing you want to think about is tempo. You want to be able to put the muscle, the, the, the actual muscle that you're using, into a bit of a, uh, a stop. So at the top, you have some tension. So you simply go up into an I, and I'd like to go into a one, two, one count and go down about in a four count. And do that one, two, two, slowly down, one, two, three, for about 10 reps. And then I go into a Y, one, two, one, one, two, two, and then a T. And with that, I just flip the, the uh, thumbs down, come up, and that way you put the shoulders in a little bit better area to that, that glenohumeral joint and the scapula to come together. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for some range of motion on the scapula and make sure it slides well. Coach, I have a question. What if people like Johnny Two Putts don't have a bench? Can well, you do it standing in golf posture? Or what, what's, what's the opportunity if you don't have equipment? You can either use a ball or if you just, again, a lot of times we talk about core bracing in, in our, all our movements. So you just get into that, brace your core and go through that motion, and, but make sure that you have that weight through the glutes so you have the big muscles of the posterior chain turned on so that- For stability? Stability. Yeah, I like that. You know? Don't forget about the legs. You know, another thing, and, and this, is, this, is, uh, this is not one size fits all, you know, many times, when Dustin Johnson's warming up and we're getting ready to play to increase mobility, mm -hmm. he sets up in his golf stance or his, his, his address position and he literally pulls his elbows into his yeah. rib cage and he'll externally rotate in his setup position. And you can right? see how Coach's scapula are moving and this is what you want to see. You want to see that good movement in that scapula. We've had people talk about locked locked up scaps and how to strengthen, this is it right here. And then we actually pick it up and we'll do a standing 90-90 as well. Yep. So we're, we're looking to good movement all the way through. increase that strength and mobility because when that club actually sets at the top, that arm literally looks like this in a similar position as the club goes down the target line, the yep. parallel. Yep. So those are a couple of great uh, opportunities and exercises that we use here on our training and streaming platform and right here in the, in the facility to work on strength and mobility. Yeah, groove the pattern. Don't worry about how much weight you're pushing. Make sure you have the timing right and that you have the mobility and the motion right before you move up in any kind of weight. Yeah, I like that. Cool.